What's up? Chris Sider here from exgirlfriendrecovery.com and today we're going to talk about the no contact rule. Alright, so the no contact rule is actually really easy to understand. It's a period of time where you ignore your ex after a breakup and you don't break the no contact rule no matter what. Well, that's not exactly true. There are a few cases, but I'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. For now, all you need to understand is that the no contact rule serves two purposes. It's to make your ex miss you, and also to erase any bad feelings that they have towards you. Now what I want to talk about are the three time frames that you can use for the no contact rule. So there are three time frames that I really want you to abide by with the no contact rule. And you get to choose the time frames that you want to embark on based on your own situation because after all, you know your situation better than I ever could. So the, t the three time frames are as follows. The 21 day rule, the 30 day rule, and finally the 45 day rule. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, why not longer than that? I've seen lots of relationship experts and lots of forums on exes recommend the 60 day rule or the 90 day rule. All right, so there's something I want to teach you about now and it really determines why you don't go past 45 days on the no contact rule. There have been studies done and scientists have determined that it takes 66 days on average for a human being to make or break a habit. So technically speaking, your ex-girlfriend, if she wanted to get over you right after the breakup, it would, scientifically speaking, of course, it would take 66 days for her to get over you. So the reason we don't try any of these super long no contact rules like the 60 day period or the 90 day period is because it kind of infringes on that 66 day habit rule mark where she could potentially get out of the habit of thinking about you. So the next thing that I want to talk about here are the common mistakes that men typically make when embarking on the no contact rule. All right, so with the no contact rule, there's a lot of temptation to contact your ex, as you imagine. In fact, I estimate that around 80% of the men who come to ex-girlfriend recovery and attempt the no contact rule end up breaking it. Because again, there's so many temptations, they miss their ex so much, and oftentimes the more you want something, the more the temptation there is, is to, to contact the person. So let's talk about some of the common mistakes that men make with the no contact rule. First off, you have contacting them in general during the no contact rule. Then you have contacting them during a birthday or a holiday. And then sometimes men even come up with reasons on their own to contact them or, for example, show up where they are on purpose. And as horrible as this sounds, tragedies, when someone's been hurt or something, they'll contact us for their, you know, well, well wishes or something like that. But any one of these things, you cannot break the no contact rule for. Now, speaking of breaking the no contact rule. There are a few select situations where you have no choice but to break the no contact rule. And you may be wondering, okay, how do I handle that situation? Well, let's talk about that. So the first reason that's acceptable for you to break the no contact rule for is exchanging items with your ex. Now, here's a general rule of thumb when it comes to exchanging items. If they if she, rather, has asked you for her items back, you have no choice but to give her items back and break the no contact rule. But if she hasn't, then it's really a matter of you trying to figure out if the item is worth or important enough to break the no contact rule for. What's an example of an item that's not important enough for you to break the no contact rule for? And what's an example of an item that is worth breaking the no contact rule for? So let's assume that you get caught in a situation where you have no choice but to break the no contact rule because either you've determined that you've left something really important at her house or her place or she's contacted you wanting something back from you. How do you handle that interaction? Well, it's really simple. Keep things strictly business. You want to look the best you've ever looked and keep things business. Don't get into talking about your relationship with her. Uh, be really nice and cordial. Be friendly. Smile a lot. Be bubbly almost. And uh, cut the interaction as short as possible as it has to be. Simply give her stuff back or get your stuff back and get out of there. 
Don't give her anything to get angry at you about. Uh, and like I said, be as nice and as happy, go lucky as possible. All right, so the next complicated situation where you're pretty much forced to break the no contact rule is if you work with your ex or if you go to school with your ex. Now the strategies for these two are, I combine them because it's really similar, the strategy. What is the strategy? Well, it's really simple. Basically what you're gonna do is keep things strictly business. Uh, don't talk to them, don't initiate unless they initiate. And if they initiate, kind of keep things really nice, but really short. Um, one word answers are great, but not kind of dickish one word answers. Be really nice with your one word answers. And if you get an opportunity to flirt with someone in front of them, take it. Don't be overly ambitious with your flirting, but be ambitious enough to where they'll notice and you can work some jealousy into it. All right, so now we're at one of the big kahuna situations, one of the situations where almost no one knows what to do when it comes to the no contact rule, and that's if you live with your ex. So what do you do? Well, the advice I'm gonna give you may sound simple, but it's harder to implement than you think. The first piece of advice is to move out if it's possible. Obviously, I don't want you going outside your means, and if it's not possible for you to move out, then that's okay. But if it's possible, move out. If it's not, here are some other tips for you. Go out as much as possible. Keep your distance from them and have as much fun. Roll in at night at 2.30 sometimes. Make her wonder where you're, you're going and if you're seeing other women, perhaps. And then, speaking of other women, go out on dates. Look your best around the house. Go out on dates. Just be mysterious. Make her, you know, oftentimes when it comes to the mind, the mind is a woman's worst enemy. You have to do something really little and then she'll fill in the blanks and she'll go wild and next thing you know, she'll be right back into your arms. All right, so next up we have the almighty situation if you have kids with your ex. Now, my piece of advice here is really simple, but follow it to a T. Keep every interaction during the no contact rule with your ex about the kids. Meaning, if you have to break the no contact rule, and you will if you have kids because ultimately you will have to talk about the kids but keep it about the kids. If she tries to steer the conversation elsewhere about the weather or, God forbid, your relationship, don't engage. Just every interaction you have with her, let it be about the kids. All right, so there's something about the no contact rule that I think people are missing. Uh, a lot of the experts out there don't really cover this, and I've always kind of wondered why, because it seems like such a missed opportunity. And that is the fact that the the way I teach the no contact rule to men is it's a battle on two fronts. So on one front we have you engaging in the no contact rule are going to make your ex-girlfriend miss you or erase some of the bad feelings she has about you. But the second front is just as important as the first front and the second front is self-improvement. Now bear with me here. Imagine that you are engaging on a 30 day no contact rule with your ex-girlfriend. So after the 30 days are up. Uh, you've been working on yourself, you've gotten to the best shape of your life, you've taken up piano or something, and you've, you've, you have all these amazing stories to tell. If you run into your ex-girlfriend, if this version runs into your ex-girlfriend in the street somewhere, and you start telling her all these amazing stories, you're dressed perfectly, you look better than you've ever looked in your entire life, she's going to sit back and be like, oh, maybe I made a mistake. And that's the power of the no contact. Well, that's the power of fighting this battle on two fronts. Try it. Hey, thanks for watching this video to the end. I really appreciate it. And uh, if it's not too much trouble, if you like what you saw here, please like the video and please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. And if you want more tips and tricks about how to handle your breakup or how to handle your ex-girlfriend, please visit my website, www.exgirlfriendrecovery.com. See you next time.